Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another monthly highlights for you for the month of October 2019. For October this year, I did pull in a kit from last year from Scribble Prints Co. I actually don't have the entire kit because I did end up getting this sort of as a surprise in a grab bag that I had purchased from her. So yeah, I just kind of got lucky to get a couple sheets of the same kit for the monthly, so I pulled that in for this year. For my sidebar, I did pull in a bunch of Simply Gilded washi. Everything, or I guess I should say all of the washi tapes that are in this video are from Simply Gilded. And I did a sort of mixed metals look, kind of. I mean, it's obviously mixed metals. I've got rose gold, gold, and silver in there, but I didn't specifically stylize it that way, if that makes sense. I just picked colors of washi that matched the kit and just put them down regardless of what color the foiling was, and I think it turned out alright. So yes, for my sidebar I did put in all of the washi tapes on an angle. I thought it looked kind of, I don't know, I thought it looked cute. And then at the very bottom I did pull in this bow seal also from Simply Gilded in her rose gold foil. Then I moved on to the days that were not in the month of October, and for those days I just put some strips of washi horizontally, just because I really liked how that looked. And maybe I'm extra picky, but it, it drives me nuts when I can see the vertical bar in the spread. The washi tapes tend to be a little bit translucent just because of the material that they're made out of, and I just don't like to see the vertical lines through the washi tape, so I did end up whiting those out along with the dates that were not in the month of October. So moving into the day by day, on Tuesday the 1st, I wanted to mark that it was Taco Tuesday at World of Beer. The beer sticker is from Peanut Butter Taco, and the taco sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. For this month, I did pull in my Symbolion permanent marking pen for the glossy stickers, and then I also pulled in my Inkjoy gel pen in the 0.7 millimeter tip. And then I remembered that I really wanted to use these rose gold foiled pumpkin stickers, the date dots, from Happy Scrappy, and yeah, I thought they were super cute and I wanted to pull those in for this month. And I kind of didn't decide that until I started putting down my highlights, so that's what I'm doing here. I don't think there was anything super crazy that happened this month. There was a lot of family time that happened, and that is always a good thing. And yeah. Oh, I did get my Switch Lite this, this month, though, and you guys will see that later in this spread. Oh, and it was my kitten's first birthday. I love looking back at these spreads and just remembering all of the happy times because that's pretty much what I use these spreads for. So now that we are done with the day dots, I moved back to the second. I did some cooking and I just used this big munch, not munchkin, emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark some cooking time. On the third, I had a Michaels run and I used this crafting emoji also from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. On the 4th, I had a YouTube binge. The YouTube girl is from Stationery Heaven Co. And the YouTube binge sticker is from Kinsey's Creations. And then I just filled up some of that space with a little bit of washi from Simply Gilded. On the 5th, I used the autumn emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I went to the cider mill with my husband. And then after the cider mill, I used a movie marquee from Scribble Prints Co. and a Joker emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we saw the new Joker movie. On the 6th, I used a Sleeping Panda, also from Stationery Heaven Co. to mark that I slept in. The script is from Kinsey's Creations. Then I also did a face mask that day. The face mask emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. On the 7th, I wanted to mark going shopping with a gold foil sticker from Scribble Prints Co. And the shopping script and the Happy Mail script are both from Kinsey's Creations. I also used a smiling kawaii Happy Mail sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design to mark that. On the 8th, I had some snuggle time with my Maisie girl. The Shih Tzu sticker is from Planning Made Easy and the script is from Kinsey's Creations. On the 9th, I had some family time. I used a silver foiled sticker from Scribble Prints Co. and a family time sticker from Bookish Planning to mark that. On the 10th, I did some reading. The girl sticker is from Stationery Heaven Co. The script is from Kinsey's Creations. Actually, almost every script in this spread, except for the couple that I have from Bookish Planning, those are all from Kinsey's Creations. 
Then I used a YouTube emoji and a flag sticker from Scribble Prints Co. I think that was from a multicolor to mark a YouTube binge. On the 11th, I used a gold foiled pizza sticker from Scribble Prints Co. to mark going to Buddy's Pizza. And then I also had some snuggle time with my kitten. That gray cat sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker. On the 12th, I had an anime binge. The anime binge sticker is a custom from Kinsey's Creations and the TV emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. On the 13th, I had some coffee and I used this peace sign coffee girl from Stationery Heaven Co. to mark that. And then I had a shopping date with my husband and the emoji couple is from the Coffee Monsters Co. On the 14th, I think I laid down some washi first and that is from Simply Gilded. And then I also wanted to paint my nails. I used a nail painting emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and another Kinsey's Creations script. On the 15th, it was my kitten's first birthday. The cat sticker is from Hey Soul Sticker. And then my switch light came in the mail that day. I was really excited about that. And I used a switch sticker from Fox and Pip to mark that. On the 16th, I spent some time playing Nino Kuni, which is a game for the Switch. I believe it was re-released from a previous console version. And then I filled up some space with some more Simply Gilded washi. On the 17th, I put down some washi from Simply Gilded again. And then I had another YouTube binge. The YouTube sticker is from Stationery Heaven Co. On the 18th, I wanted to mark with this washi emoji that it was a Paka Post new release. For those of you who aren't familiar, Paka Post is a washi company, kind of like Simply Gilded, but she is out of Hong Kong. On the 19th, my husband and I had a date day. The emoji couple is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I wanted to mark pizza with my in-laws with another pizza sticker from Scribble Prince Co. And that is in her silver foil. On the 20th, I had some more family time. Again, the family time script is from Bookish Planning and the heart sticker is gold foil from Scribble Prince Co. On the 21st, I had a super productive day, so I used a label from the kit, and then I also used a flag from my Scribble Prints Co. Multicolor and an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to just mark a productive day. On the 22nd, we had my brother-in-law's birthday dinner. I marked that with a family time script from Kinsey's Creations. On the 23rd, it was my brother-in-law's actual birthday, so I used some balloons from Scribble Prints Co. to mark that. And then I also used a bow sticker from Scribble Prints Co. to mark that I had gotten my helix piercing that day. On the 24th, I painted my nails again. The nail polish emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I had some maple snuggles and the dog sticker is from Planning Made Easy. On the 25th, I watched the Fairy Tales series finale. Sorry if you hear my heater kicking on. And the TV sticker is from Stationery Heaven Co. I also used a piece of Simply Gilted washi to take up some extra space. On the 26th, I watched some My Hero Academia, and the laptop emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. On the 27th, we celebrated my parents' anniversary. The date sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I also used a piece of Simply Gilted washi to take up some space. On the 28th, I used some more washi tape. And then I painted my nails again, another emoji sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that, and to paint nails custom from Kinsey's Creations. On the 29th, I marked a girls' night out with my co-workers, and again, the emojis are from the Coffee Monsters Co. On the 30th, I used a Sleeping Panda sticker from Stationery Heaven Co. and a flag from the kit to mark that I slept early that day. And then on the 31st, it was Halloween. And I used this mm, candy sticker to mark passing out candy from the Coffee Monsters Co. So here is the finished spread and a little bit of oil to show off all the different colors of foil. And here's everything that I have left in the two pages of the kit that I had. I hope you guys enjoyed this spread. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.